Today's episode of Social PDX is sponsored by the Sausage Shack Food Cart down here on Southwest 3rd and Start in downtown Portland. If you want to make your food taste even better, you gotta wrap it in bacon. Howdy! Hola! Welcome to another episode of Social PDX! Or as we say here in Oregon, hola! Ho hola! Ho whole lot of love! Got a whole lot of love! We got our Copyright. coffee! Oh. <laughs> we got our coffee! Yeah! And um, I, I started out this morning pouring myself a cup of two day old coffee from my carafe um do you do that or do you make like a new pot every yeah i call day? it sunday swill <laughs> it's usually made on thursday <laughs> Great. And by that time it's usually got kind of a, a, a it's like a, a, a chunkiness no it's not a chunky. extra chunk it just has like a a visible film so you know, we like opted to, to head over to 7-eleven yeah the chunky crunchy even in milk. Yeah, chewy coffee. Yeah. And I got a regular drip, and Bryce, you got a what do you get? Colombian. Colombian, 100% Colombian. Bold swill. Yes, yes. So, yeah, do you guys do that? Do you let your coffee set and reheat it, or do, do you even make your own coffee? Do you go to Charbucks or Coffee Villa or someplace and, and grab your coffee every day? I know a lot of people who do that and just... Go and spend four bucks on a cup of coffee every single day, and uh, I, yeah, I just I can't don't justify see it. that. Anyway, there's a few things that we're going to talk about today. One of the things we want to cover is the new social network Pinterest, and I sent you a a link which you did not read. I read it. <laughs> nice, sort Thank of. Thank you. I, I'm glad I, I take the. They put in the time I and effort to, to read educate you, and then it falls flat. Hey, I know. I Well, you see, I want to. I have a legitimate reason for not reading it, and that is that I want to play your advocate, the viewer who doesn't know about Pinterest. I want to play your advocate and maybe ask the questions that you would ask. Nice cover up. Okay, so anyway, I've been using Pinterest for a while now. And uh, the first time that I was exposed to it, I'm kind of like scratching my head trying to figure out what this thing is. The kind of, the the way I did with Twitter when I first saw Twitter. I still do with Twitter. It's Site like, Cells, it's President like, Ken Evoy was scratching his head over Twitter, Twitter when it first like came out. Facebook without everything. Yeah. Anyway, so Pinterest is basically virtual bulletin boards that you can post photos on and people go and they share it's a big community just like all the other social networks and you post photos that you share for instance i've got only photos well, uh no no but i uh, for instance i've got a board uh that covers the oregon coast because i love the oregon coast something i'm very passionate about and something i have one of my websites romantic oregon coast like vacations. sparkly things i uh, dangle something in front of me um we're not never mind <laughs> edit that part out so i i post photos beautiful photos of the oregon coast and what i can do is i can edit those pins and link back to my website uh you can also use a uh a video you can post videos on your boards niche off your boards so you have a number of them portland oregon coast uh cupcake jones business down in portland has a, uh, a number of boards that has all kinds of wedding stuff because they do cater to wedding people. And they have pictures of their cupcakes. Food is always a popular thing. And it links back to their website or their blog or their YouTube channel or whatever. You can change the link. You can actually change the link. And when Pinterest first started, all the links that you edited were do follow links. So you get SEO juice. You get link juice from that. Um, but they changed to Fresh no follow. squeezed link juice. <laughs> But they changed that to a no follow. But the thing is, you can post those links in the description also. You can also use uh, hashtags, which are clickable in the description. And Bryce is playing with my pooter. I have to lick the pooter. <laughs> lick the pooter. 
Um, yeah, so Pinterest is, is a great, great social network. It, it's pretty awesome. It has grown dramatically in the same time frame that Facebook would have grown, Pinterest grew more. Um, it, 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 it's amazing. So I, I'll, I'll put a link down below to my Pinterest stuff and um, you can go there, sign up and, and try it out. Learn all you can about it. Um, pretty cool. I like it. Sounds a lot like um, Wonder How To. Wonder How To is like, um, it's like a tutorial uh, social media forum and you can uh, you can create like you wonder how to how to yeah it's it's called wonder how to you can go to wonder wonderhowto.com and it, it and i actually discovered it because i was wondering where all the hits for this one video that i had were coming from and i found out that they were coming from wonderhowto.com so i went there and i searched for my the topic of my video and i found the i found the page where it was at and it turns out that they actually allow you to uh, they actually allow you to cash in on the AdSense on the page that your video is being viewed on. On Pinterest, you'll notice that as you start pinning your stuff and hooking it back to your website, you're going to notice an influx of traffic. I, I've mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people talk about how much more traffic they seem to be getting as as Pinterest. And you can use affiliate links in your uh, in your linkage too. You can go ahead and post a a photo of a very cool camera and um, link it to uh, uh, Amazon and make a sale, make a commission. Speaking of pictures, I watched a episode of Rhett Link's uh, vlog video where they sit and they talk and um, uh, they were discussing a gentleman who lives in a small village in France who is suing Google Gentleman because... might be a loose term used here. <laughs> yeah, really. Because the Google Street View car drove by his place and he was taking a leak out in his driveway and it caught it. Um, uh, I'll put a link down a there leak. so you can take it. Huh? A leak? A leak. Can you elaborate? He was, he was leaking. He was urinating okay in his driveway okay if, if he is you see we're, we're we we don't buy coffee now, we rent okay, it. eventually now, you have to return it he was returning now, now see he's talking about urination and he's displaying a 7-eleven coffee <laughs> my, there's my no logo, connection my really, logo was really. covered it, it does taste pretty good my logo was covered oh. yours however okay hmm. <laughs> anyway um, yeah. yeah, anyway, uh, Bryce was caught by the Google car out in front of his house. And here's the picture right here. And you want to describe in, this? This is taken in 2005, by the way, when I first bought my house. So you notice if it if uh, if you can look at closely at the grass, it's very brown. I noticed the shadow of the Google car driving yeah, by. Yeah, there's there. the shadow. Anyway, out in the yard there, you'll see you'll see me up on the front porch. I'm sitting there in my tank top, and I've got a hose in Ooh, my you're hand. you're manly. Look at those muscles. I, yeah, yeah, my blurry, pixelated muscles. <laughs> and Eight-bit muscles. Yeah. And <laughs> Duke one of my, Lucum style. One of my pugs is standing up on the front porch next to me, and I've got a hose in my hand. Now, out in the yard, you see right by the gate there, that's Sasha, and she's out there taking a dump. <laughs> she and knew the cart was coming by. Here, look at this. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm, um, I have the hose in my hand because that's how we, we trained our dogs to actually go out in the yard. Was, oh, they would, they're Pita so people. stubborn. One thing about the Pete is going to be calling, knocking one, on your door. Yeah, well, <laughs> they can come to my house. I'll probably have something to say to them. Um, but the the uh, the pugs are very stubborn, uh, so they would go out in the yard and they would just sit on the sidewalk and then they would come in the house and they'd crap in the house, and so rather than have them do that, I basically you know I sat out there and in, and enforced and rather than you know chase them around the Bryce yard the or beat them or anything, I just it's a hot day I just squirt them with the hose and they would uh, they would go out into the grass and so there's sasha with her priceless uh movement and you thought the ringing of the bell and the dog salivating was something special yeah <laughs> anyway um you got a uh microphone 
that you want to show. Yeah, this is that a, you just got, which is very cool. A new toy that I got. This is an AVL 630 microphone, and um, you can hardly see it because it's very, very uh, uh, slim, uh, thin profile. It's uh, based, uh, of course, those of you in the sound industry will recognize this shape. It's based uh, on the Countryman microphones, which are uh, typical. You see them in churches and seminars and stuff. People wear this on your ear. And um, uh, this one, actually, um, I got it for a really smoking deal. You can, uh, you can find these, uh, a link in the description for this. But... This has like an eighth inch uh, plug, so it's a standard microphone plug. It should if you have an external input on your camera, or uh, you may need an you may need an adapter to plug this in. But it, it fits in most body packs too. So if you have like a wireless setup, uh, this will fit in most body packs. And we're just gonna do a quick check on it here, just to test out and see what the sound is like. So you can hear now. I'm not sure. You know, with me talking straight at you, if Tony talks. Talk, 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 talk. It's probably not quite as loud or um, out front as my voice is, and it's probably not the same as, as what you hear on this other microphone that we have here, the shotgun mic that we use for the show. But uh, just sitting here, you know, you can you can easily do this for vlogs or, you know, for um, uh, talk shows, conference calls. Of course, you, if you're doing video conferencing, you probably still want to have headphones in. It makes it easier for you to, I mean, you can easily plug one of these into, like, uh, this camera, the, the Lumix GH2, has, uh, has an... Uh, it's the 2.5 millimeter as opposed to the 3.5 millimeter plug so it's a little it's a little different and you can um, let me switch back to the other uh, it's a 3.5 millimeter on this as opposed to the camera has a 2.5 millimeter plug um, oh that would plug into my headphone jack yeah on my phone well, on some some phones, yeah. Well, that would fit mine. Cell phone ones usually nowadays they have a two point five millimeter plug on them. Um, but for all those people who don't get free phones from your but carrier, typically, like, me, like a I'm countryman, cheap. most most people that are doing that are using a countryman mic, they they order the tan one. And I understand these also come in tan, but uh, the one that I got was only sold in black at the time. The the tan ones are much less conspicuous. On, especially on on film mm. but yeah. you can probably take this heat shrink off of here and put tan heat shrink take this insulator off of here and use maybe some fingernail polish to actually paint it brown so i would imagine without listen to bryce this guy is the macgyver of technology well yeah we will teach you how to make day, mouse everything back in the day we used to uh hack our joysticks to put auto fire switches and like <laughs> We put rows cool. of capacitors with dip switches in there so you can make your own rate of auto fire oh, in dude. your joystick. You gotta show me how to do that. Yeah, well <laughs> yeah, great. I have to introduce you to my friend Ken Nakat. So Ken if you're watching. Um anyway, um oh I, I recently switched from Firefox to Google Chrome. Now I've been with Chrome for a long time. I like it. I was hesitant to do that because um the Google Toolbar, it, uh, safernetworking.org, the people who make SpyBot, Search and Destroy, good tool, um, great tool. They openly free. they openly accused Google of distributing uh, Google Toolbar as spyware, because and Google never I don't contested think I ever it. Used toolbar. Google never contested this because their tool actually does all the stuff that spyware typically does, and that is harvest information and keep information. But the thing is, that's all in your end user license agreement. With all here. the stuff that's coming out about Google, is this a big surprise to anybody? Right. And if you've read your privacy policy on Google, you probably already know your new they're one. keeping everything now. So like, you know, if you got a smartphone or even if you got a dumb phone, if you use Google <laughs> on it at I got all, a dumb phone. that your your location, I got a smartphone. All of that's your locations dumb. that are that are that are logged when you're using Google in any way, shape or form, that's all. Anyway, I'm not going to go into too much detail cuz Google goes into a lot of details. I had somebody comment on one of the videos I made about the new privacy policy, and he said, "Well, I don't care. I don't look at porn." What? Google doesn't care if you look at porn. They want your information for who knows what other kind of 
underhanded sell it so to they the can sell Soviets, it to the man whatever but the they man. don't care if you look at porn the man what does that have to maybe your girlfriend or your wife cares if you look at porn but google could care less they'll probably they're try actually, and make a sale off they're of actually it. more interested in whether you are i just found that looking funny. to buy a a hat or something yes and then whether you look at porn or not <laughs> they probably figure it's a given that you look at porn go but, porn but then no don't do that <laughs> <laughs> you know they probably they probably you know are more look at interested Bryce's in, picture pug porn. <laughs> they're probably more interested in whether you you know whether you shop for hats or shoes than than that. Yeah, absolutely. you know and what flavor of coffee that you like or something. I think that's it. Hey, if you have any questions for us, uh, video related, social media related. Uh, website design related, um, pug related. Uh, I like the pug subject. Leave a video comment or leave a regular comment. Doesn't matter. Um, and ask us anything and we'll answer it on one of the upcoming shows. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Like the videos. And if you made it through the entire video, tell us. Say the word poop. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I made it through the entire video twice. Poop, poop. I almost, I almost fell asleep, but poop. <laughs> yes, uh, this, uh, this video is not sponsored by Zoe's Pajamas. <laughs> Volume. Set that there. A microphone with hair. Yeah, you gotta have hair on your microphone. You gotta have hair.